Well, Nathan, you've had a, a couple of weeks to get settled in with, with, with life at Brentford. How have you found it? It's pre-season. Pre-season is always tough. Pre-season is always tough, but I think this is the hardest pre-season that I've, I've ever had. Just so many runs, so, so well put together drills that make you work. So I thoroughly enjoyed it, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. What, what has been different in terms of your pre-season now compared to what you've, you've had in the past? I think just the intensity and the overload in runs where drills are designed for you to work and then obviously afterwards the runs have been very very hard but everyone's been pushing each other to get to the finishing line making time so it's been thoroughly enjoyable. How important is it that you put the work in now in terms of what you want to get out of this season? Oh it's, it is the most crucial part of the season pre-season because this actually sets you up for where you want to be you can either bob off the runs and not take it as serious but when it comes to actually coming into the season and the managers looking for players here there and everywhere if you haven't put yourself to the standard where you should be and pushing on from that then you're the only one missing out obviously it's a bit different here in terms of where we are we're not not quite at jersey road yet Obviously, we, we've come to Harrow. What do you make of the facilities here? Because it's certainly got, got lots to offer, hasn't it? Oh, 100%. I mean, the pitches are in tip-top condition. It's always watered down. I mean, we used a track, didn't we, in one of the worst sessions that I've ever done in my life. But <laughs> it's been perfect. We've been using the pool. I mean, top-class gym facility. It's been an all-round. Everything's at your disposal. So you've just got to use it as much as we can. I spoke to Ryan Trevor earlier about, about the track there. He said it was hard, but he said it was good to do something different. Would you agree with that? Uh, I wouldn't go that far, <laughs> just because of how hard it was. But no, nah, I think overall it was, it was a hard day at the office, 100%. But I mean, mix and matching, I, I'm not too fussed. As long as the work is there, I'm, I'm there. I'm all yours. We obviously saw that video of you put the ball in the top corner. How do you feel you've done in terms of the, the work on the pitch? Because obviously there was a, quite a long period where you didn't play a lot of football. Oh, 100%. I mean, six months out, if you ask any player or anything like that, it's it's a killer. It's a killer. Just coming back, I mean, loose touches here and there, just finding my way at the start. But at the moment, I'm, I feel as if I'm right on track to where I should be and where I belong. Because with the boys being as good as they are, I feel as if they're on the same level as me. But... I think 100% I'm coming back into my own. My fitness wasn't too bad coming in, but it still can go higher. And I know the more touches I get, the more training session, the more games, I'm only going to be a better player off it. And from what you've seen so far, who are you most looking forward to playing alongside this season? Um, I mean, all the boys are, are top, top players, but I mean... I like the way that Paris plays. Paris is a good footballer. I really like the way that he finds his little passes. He's a silky player. Excited to play with Dan as well. I mean, he's an absolutely bullet on the right, right wing back kind of stage, which is perfect for me getting into the box. And I just can't wait for it to get all started. And the boys generally, what's the kind of group been like? Because it takes some bit of time to gel, doesn't it? Oh, 100%. But I mean, I've been to many environments where it's taken instant impact and I'm well and truly with the boys and then it's taken me quite a while but I mean all the boys are from everywhere so it's you're not the only person that's come from here there and everywhere traveled from far some boys are close some boys have traveled from different countries so everyone's in the kind of same mix and group and it's been perfect it's been perfect I couldn't have wished for anything better. Obviously, it was tough to have the, the first two games cancelled. We, we look to Cambridge next, next next Friday. How much are you all excited about that game and just, just getting minutes on the pitch? Oh, 100%. That's all the boys are talking about at the moment. It's just like getting back on the pitch after a long time out, especially for myself. I haven't played a game since December. So I'm um, really and truly just waiting to get back on the pitch, see what I can do on the pitch and just get better and better, more fitter and getting used to that match day fitness again. And what's your relationship like with, with Neil and Sam at the moment? Are you impressed by them as coaches? Oh, 100%. I can't, I can't get enough of it at the moment. I mean, the drills are unbelievable. It's not something that I haven't kind of quite used to. But it's just like 
the different kind of perspectives of football and how they press and how they move around and how we shift and shape work, I, I've, I've loved every second of it. I think they're top managers.